you guys have already seen the title and the thumbnail, but before I get on with this video, I have a few updates to let you all in on. For those of you who didn't know this, I've been having technical difficulties with my PS4 ever since I first got it. Not just with the system itself, but my account I have in connection to it. Recently, I've been informed that those problems will possibly meet their end around the time of later June, if not early July. If that's true, then I will no longer need to prop my phone up towards my television in order to record slash go live playing certain video games. With that said, be prepared because I have a major plan to finally go live and broadcast a let's play on the next upcoming game by disc and not mobile for my miniature series on the FNAF games. Five Nights at Friday Security Breach. To kick it off though, I'm going to be making and uploading a video on the next episode for Survive the Kill in Roblox very soon. I have now finally reached the ranking of level 25 and slightly higher in between. Along with that, I also got three more weapons to add onto my knife collection, plus a new skin I got for free from leveling up. Those are... Seen Rock, Aether Core, Code Red, and Red Streamer. Continuing on to make this one really quick, I just want to say that after a while debating on whether or not to throw away the old birdcage that used to hold my parakeets, my grandparents, out of the blue, decided to head up to a certain pet store. When they came home, they brought home two finches, then days later, two more. To sum it up, I now have four birds living in my house. Just to be clear, they have not been given names yet, nor have their genders by it been identified. But whenever it is I get the chance to, though, I will have these little peepers make an appearance within a vlog one day. Oh, also, not too long ago for an early Easter gift, instead of doing a full re on review video for that, I just want to say that I have been given a stuffed animal to add onto my collection of plushies. A pink and white rabbit with floppy ears, a bow tie, and stars covered all over its body. Her name is going to be Stella. Also, this is something that has been on my mind for a while, but I was thinking, like, as soon as my Freddy's Amazing Adventure series is done and pushed out of the way, and for when I finally get to moving forwards with things I'm busy with, things that I want to work on, plus my Lion King plush series, maybe I might start making other plush-related videos slash series. It's not 100% guaranteed, but then again, it all depends on how well my plans shape up as I work my way through them. Speaking of plushies, Funko, without making a real list slash listing of it on any sort of social media website, released an all Walmart only exclusive FNAF AR special delivery firework Freddy plushie in stores. You could probably go to your local Walmart right now to go find them, but this is what that looks like, plus the tag. Anyways, I have an announcement. For about a while now, two of my younger slash half-siblings, excluding Audrey, haven't been all that active on YouTube as much anymore for when it comes to uploading or posting stuff on their channel. The reason behind why is because they've both lost access to their accounts. With that said, if you're all wanting to see more content made by them, be sure to go subscribe to their newly made accounts. The link is in the description and also in the subscription side of my channel page. That's Haley and James. Speaking of which, I just wanted to remind you all that my cousin Joseph, <coughs> Lava Wolf, has had his YouTube account <coughs> channel taken down due to some technical errors in relation to some hacking into his login. This is now the second time he's had to recreate his thing. Go subscribe to his newly made account. Again, the link is in the description and also the subscription side of my channel page. Also, remember that whole thing in relation to the Black Hat update for the horror game known as the Baby in Yellow? Yeah, well, it turns out the creators are putting a shit ton of effort into this next update for the game, and instead of it being released somewhere in March like how they had originally planned, the release date for it is now being pushed to May 26th. From what I've heard, though, there are going to be different stages within the game, so will there be different parts released on different dates? Not sure yet. One thing we do know, though, is that there's going to be a green hovering robot added in the, into the game called Newt. So it looks like there's big things going to be coming plus more lore. I can't wait for it, but hopefully you all will have the same amount of patience just as I have. Oh, also, Intersoft added an update post on their website for Among Us VR. If you all want to go read through that, this is what the cover of it looks like. April 6, 2023. Chill out and fight with Among Us VR. Well, fight playlist and new map name reveal. Without further ado, let's just get on with this video.
All right, now with all that said, hey guys, Super Foxy, welcome back to the channel. As we see the title, we are back again with another Roblox video. For this video, we are going to be playing Escape the Office Obby. For those of you who want to go add me on Roblox, my user is right there. But without a further ado, let's see what this game has in store for us. So it looks like our first spawn is at our little office desk. We're apparently working an office job. We have a pile of papers that we need to get to, a cup of coffee, a computer right in front of us, and then it looks like a pen, and then a desk plant. Uh, and then uh, we go all around here, it says, our boss is crazy, he's making us do tons of work and won't let us go. And then apparently this guy is our boss right here, he looks like a billionaire or something like that. He says, work my peasants. And then we go around, there's more people saying, help us so much work so it looks like our boss is overworking us and we have to find a way to get the hell out of here also it looks like we're being watched on camera so that's a little that's a little lovely are we gonna get fired for trying to escape guess we will have to find out it says we need to escape our boss has gone crazy so then it looks like we jump through this vent right here typical obby stuff and then let's see where this leads us to i'm pretty sure this obby is very old by the way just to let you all know. Okay, so now it looks like we have to jump onto these piles of papers. It kind of looks like a copy and paste from what we've had on our desk along with other employees. We got to jump on these and avoid falling into this pit of, I want to say, deadly slime or ass or whatever the hell it's called. Don't know. And then it says right here, this guy is talking about some, what is that white stuff? Looks like glue has been spilled. So it looks like we have to pass through this next area and it looks like there is glue being spewed out from some sort of pipes and this pipe is connected to a window. Where is the flow coming from? I guess I probably shouldn't question that. Even though you know me, I like pointing out every single thing, almost every single thing within a game. Uh, there is a pen right here, a giant pen, and it looks like there is ink being spewed out from the tip of it so then we have to avoid touching this ink so what is this ink supposed to be like more deadlier than regular ink like if we touch it it's obviously one kills but like what's the deal with that uh more pens then instead of you got ink just laying down the ground it's flowing all around in a broken part of this office place all right, pass across these pens. We are doing good so far. All right, next. Um, this coffee is strong, so it looks like we've made it to the break area where they serve coffee or something like that. Okay, so jump across these coffees, and then you got some guy in there just drowning within it saying, it burns. So obviously there's more things going on rather than we're being worked over time, overworked, whatever the hell it is you want to call it. But our boss has something going on. He's very evil. Hmm. You know, normally I could think of some sort of scenario of what the hell it is that could be going on. But I guess we're just going to have to keep moving forwards in order to find out. There's a door right here. And then it looks like there was a spawn of a door right here. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the game is glitched or bugged. And then you got this area right here there's paintings all around a plant and then it looks like our boss is coming to head toward us looks like a sort of little lobby area and then we go right here this guy says he's coming quickly in here so we get a head through the storage area and then it looks like someone is trapped in here help but I don't think we are here to help them we're here to escape ourselves I'm sorry sir or ma'am so then it looks like we have to jump on these shelves. Okay, carefully. Uh, oh. Okay, almost didn't even make that one. Okay, just have to climb up that box. And then move on to this next one. Oh, I fell. Okay, let's try that again. At least I didn't fall all the way down. And then, alright, cool. And we have a little screwdriver. It looks like someone already made an attempt to escape. So now we have to crawl through this vent. Well, not really crawl. It's pretty big for a vent so we just have to walk through it so <laughs> and then all right uh next area it looks like you got these two men in black talking to our boss right here so it looks like we have to head on through this area full of lasers and i 
filled like what three jumps in <laughs> lovely or at least i think that was three jumps in all right one two three four five okay cool we made it across that now we got to avoid touching these really really long panel laser things okay there's more doors there's a window right there i mean i don't know why it is we can't jump through the window but i guess that's the whole point of the obby gotta cross through some obstacles great okay uh, let's try not to die right here doing good we're doing great and then it says right here quick through this through the fire escape stairs okay so now it looks like we have to head through an upstairs wait what hello where where'd i have to go i'm trying to zoom out but like Oh, okay, I got confused, like, wait, how am I gonna get down? And then I realized, oh, I have to walk over to the right right here to get to the stairs. Uh, there's a door. Okay, don't know why I even tried to make an attempt at opening that. Some things are there for looks. Just design purposes. Uh, how long is it going to take me to get down these stairs? I mean, like, <laughs> door, another door. Okay. Can do this. Another door. Of course, you can't go through it. Um, I'm not really sure how long I'm going to have to travel through these stairs, but it looks like the exit's right there. And there's a pile of garbage. Open a door! Okay, I don't know what these doors are for, but, like, anything hidden back here behind the stairs? Okay, nope. An invisible barrier. That's all it is. All right, let's go through the fire exit. Okay, so, what? We've made it to a parking lot? What do we have to do here? Have I made it to the end? It says, subscribe to Fat Paps. And then it says, where do you think you're going? You're coming with us. And remember, uh, anytime you see a YouTuber shouted out within a game like this, remember to go subscribe to them. So it looks like we have to walk forward and we are taken back to our little office thing. But it looks like we are in a sort of vault sort of area. Maybe this is the boss's office. Uh, don't know what he's got going on for the computer screen right here uh join a million of builders and join their creations roblox oh it's just a sort of little ad thing for roblox uh, but as you can see here he's got money lying around his desk oh there's briefcase uh there's little sacks of money looks like in robux obviously because it's roblox you got this giant plant right here uh looks like a rat is that the rat from cheese escape oh my gosh guys look the rat made a cameo. I can't really zoom in all the way for some reason, but <laughs> the rat from Cheese Escape is in here. Uh, there's a painting. Okay, some file cabinets. Uh, vent right there. Oh, yeah. It even says right here, boss. Uh, sorry, I got a little distracted. Then you got chairs right here, you know, to talk to the boss, like if he's calling up a meeting for a few, and then it says right here, looks like we got looked, locked in the boss's office. Maybe there's a key to open this door. Okay, so it looks like we have to find a key. So I wonder if we have to climb, okay, yeah, I figured. Uh, we have to climb up these file cabinets, and then into this vent right here. I wonder why that vent was right there. I was thinking like, wait, is that another way of an escape? But no, it looks like we just have to find a key, so it looks like there's two passageways. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Of course I'm not. I always take the wrong path and it's like, whoops, you died. Okay, let's try that again. But all, in all seriousness, is there like just little random cameos within this game? I mean, look at that. That's literally the rat from Cheese Escape. Look at how cute he looks, though. Like, he's not all big and giant like how you normally see him. I wonder if there's any lore in relation to this game with that. Like, they experimented on the rat and he became giant or something like that or what all right okay so it looks like we now have to find the key in this room here obviously i mean there wouldn't be any other reason for it to be here but it says right here the janitor is so messy click to collect the key so it looks like we have to go forwards carefully or maybe not that was a fail <laughs> okay i don't know what it is i was doing there you guys all it was was one tiny jump and I really had to mess it up. Well, <sighs> attempt number, uh, I lost track. It wasn't even that many attempts and I've already lost that track to this. Okay, so just have to slide past through this and then 
or maybe not. I was trying to do a quick jump over those two little splotches of water right there. Or you know the part where it turns into an obby. Like the rest of it you just have water flowing down everywhere and then you know those two things that pretty much make the obby what it is right here. Okay, carefully. Motherfucker. <laughs> How did Okay, I get that I've gotten better at obbies over the years, but like what the hell is this shit? What am I doing? <laughs> Like, do I literally have to take a small jump rather than a big jump like how I normally do or something? Like, I mean, these little lines of water right here, they're not even that big of jumps. Okay, so then how do we get to the key? Okay, we have to climb up the shelves. I don't know how the hell am I going to do this. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold up. There we go. Okay, we got the key. Do we have the key? Okay, we do. Cool. Okay, so then now I have to jump back. But how exactly am I gonna get back now? Never mind. I figured it out. I have to climb up this again. Well, not again. This is my first time doing it, but you know. Alright, now we gotta climb up, head through, and then whoop, get the hell out of here. I don't know how many tries it was to even get to that room or even pass through. Alright, so now I'll use the key and. We have made it outside. Uh, so then it looks like we have to head on through this little area of rusted pipes, I guess. It looks like we're out in the city. Um, carefully, we have to whoop, jump over. And then it looks like... There! There they are! Go get him! Alright, boss. Yes, sir. So it looks like we're being chased ba down by two men in black. And our boss is trying to get them to grab a hold of us and send us back to the office or whatever all right so let's hurry down into the sewer before they catch us okay so then it looks like we have to jump down into the sewer i noticed on that building right there before we even headed it through like the little alleyway it had some graffiti on it but all right um now that we're in the sewer it says ew what is that green stuff well i mean we're in a sewer what do you think it is it's sewage all right um let's see walk through these paths right here i wonder if it matters where we go or if like it's one of those things that you have to okay it is it's one of those things that you have to watch out on what path you take because you might fall through okay so it's not that or that so it must be this all right let's see next go through this nope great how about this yes sir all right, cool, cool, cool. Coolio. Next path. Nope, not that. How about this one? Yep, okay, cool. All right, now it looks like we have to jump across these sort of pipe things. Oh, God. Kind of reminds me of the pipes in Mario. Although these aren't green. Also, speaking of Mario, I did go see the Super Mario Bros. movie, and it was actually not that bad. Like, there are some things that probably need improvement. But, you know, it wasn't all that bad. Alright, um, jump across these rocks. Also, I do recommend you guys to go watch it. I did not see it in theaters. I did see it from an app that I got off of my phone. I uh, can't really go too much into detail, but yeah. Uh, although, for a video game movie, I liked it. Just like I liked the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie and the second, or the first and second Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Hopefully they will be doing the same thing for the Super Mario Bros. movie. They'll be making more out of that. I'm not really sure what they're, is they're gonna do, but also, you know they're gonna be releasing the Five Nights at Freddy's movie on October 27th? In theaters yeah um i'm kind of pumped about that i want to go see it myself i might be going with family or with my best friend i'm not really sure how it is it's going to go down but i know one way or another since i've been waiting for this movie for like years now i'm definitely going to go see it all right uh, enough rambling uh it says right here hop in the water tube and slide your way down so it looks like we have to go down this little slide thing 
Um, okay. <laughs> Almost didn't make it to the little water tube thing. This little floaty, but, um... Hopefully we can get through this very smoothly and not run into any sort of flow of sewage right here. So um, I'm going to just go now. All right, we're good. We didn't have to worry about any of that. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, uh, hopefully I will get around to seeing the Five Nights at Freddy's movie for when it comes out. All right, it says, time to climb our way to freedom. Oh, and when it does, I will be sure to uh, give my reviews on it, possibly. I mean, I'm not really sure how it's going to go, like, if I'm going to go into a description of how the movie's going to go out, but, like, I'll for sure let you guys know, like, hell yeah, that movie is fucking amazing, or, eh, it was alright, needed improvement, blah, 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 just shit like that, you know, uh, just... <laughs> All right, uh, back with the game. It says here, what has happened to the city? All I know is that we should run. And it says, all I have is a stick. We got you now. Don't make me. And then dude's got a gun. Okay, so it looks like we have to go on to this sort of speed run level. Okay, cool. I didn't make that jump right there. How great is that? <sighs> Over here. One second playing the game and then another second I'm rambling on about freaking video game movies for Super Mario Bros then the first and second Sonic the Hedgehog movie and then now the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's movie that should have been out many years ago probably around the time of the game's release but can really tell you but eh. <sighs> who cares I mean, at least right now. Still coming out. No, I've never made mentions of it, but there's a lot of things that I've never really mentioned up on my channel that I do sometimes mention from time to time if I ever get the chance to, like now. Okay, um, I don't know what it is I'm really getting myself into with this little speed run thing, but I should probably jump onto this car. It'd probably be more easier jumping onto these sort of... Whoa, whoa. These bricks that are being lifted up by rope. Looks like the the office manager, our boss right here, took apart the city just to get to us. So that's fucking amazing. Lovely. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, I just realized too. Um, the FNAF movie does come out a day before my best friend's birthday. So remember to go say happy birthday to Cheyenne from whenever it is you get the chance to. You know, just around that time. But Jesus fucking Christ, I suck at this. Um, I take back what I said. I, I take back what I said about my improvement on... Roblox obbies. Oh, shoot. Almost just didn't. <coughs> Why is this so hard? You know, maybe if I was playing on computer, I'd have less difficult of a time. But, like, I'm really struggling here. You know, now that I say this, looking all around, the city looks like it's just changing colors. Like, who put the rainbow up? It wasn't me. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I'm never going to make it through this. <laughs> I already have a feeling I'm not going to make it through this. Move out of my way. I don't even know how many attempts this was. No, no. This is... This shouldn't be difficult. Like, maybe I got to slow down a little bit. Maybe that's my problem. Or maybe I gotta take, like one step at a time rather than nope nope okay this <sighs> I feel like I've tried doing a video off of this game before like I'm going to be honest with you there are some Roblox games that I've made an attempt to making a video off of in the past that I've just ended up giving up on 
And the reason behind that is literally because I suck. And I'm starting to think that this is one of those games that I was just like, ah, fuck this. I'm not doing a video of it. But I can't really be too sure because I've said that about a lot of Roblox games that you guys probably have no idea about. Uh, not that I have any sort of idea of them, but, you know. I guess we got to have a little bit of patience. Okay. Careful jumps. Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay, okay, I got this. Okay, we're cool. I think I got it, you guys. Great. Just gotta be careful. Okay, cool. We're doing good. Okay. Just gotta be careful, that's all. We're fine. Oh, oh, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's real funny. Not that I'm about to cry or anything. <laughs> okay. I can do this. Just gotta be careful. Nope, nope. Criminy. Nope. Okay, careful. It's a speed run, remember. We have to be careful with this. Certain jumps that you have to be very, very careful. Okay, we're good. Just gotta take it one step at a time and we should be fine. Oh, okay. I almost didn't even make that. Okay, jump late. Okay, cool, great. Jump up. Okay, cool. And one last jump. Whoa. Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit, I made it. Okay, so now we've made it to the other side. There are cop cars right here, and then we have cops surrounding our boss right here, and the men in black, it says, You have the right to remain silent. Freeze. We have you surrounded. If you couldn't tell already. Halt. No, no. And then, yep, it looks like they're being put at rest. Okay, so now it looks like we have to move on to this next area right here. It looks like a alleyway, well, from what I'm going to assume. We have to jump onto these dumpsters, and then jump onto these floating platforms. Well, sort of floating platforms, and then I suppose maybe that this is somewhere around the end of the game. I mean, that's what I'm going to assume, because our boss is getting arrested. Alright, carefully climb up this ladder. And is this the end? Oh, hop onto the heli. We'll bring you somewhere safe. Okay, so it looks like this police officer is bringing you somewhere safe. And then it says, jump off. And then, all right, we jump off this helicopter and we've made it to the end from what it looks like. Okay, cool. And then right here it says, we finally escaped. But you can find, or can you find the secret badge? So it looks like it's one of those things where you have to find a secret badge. We have completed this game so it looks like we've made it onto a sort of beachy like area you got the little lifeguard post thing some umbrellas some little beach chairs that we can sit in i okay maybe the game just glitched out and then it looks like off in the water you have little dolphins jumping in and out a slide and then you know you got houses off in the distance but um all right then you guys uh I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment down in the comments below some video ideas, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.
told you that I'm leaving.